Are you new to skateboarding and just got down the ollie? Not sure where to go next? Stick around, I'm gonna show you the next five tricks to learn in order to keep your progression rolling. What's up all my skaters? Welcome to the channel. I'm your host Aaron. This channel is dedicated to helping skaters like you progress quickly and have fun while doing it. Shout out of the week goes to Dom Evans for having the first comment on last week's video, which was the first five tricks that every skater needs to start with if you're a beginner. If you missed it, I'll put a card up here and a link in the description below for you to check out. Today's video is going to focus on the first five tricks that every skater needs to learn after they have the ollie down. So for trick number one, it's gonna be the fakie ollie. Let's get after it. Not gonna waste a whole lot of time here. Stepping on the board, doing a regular ollie. A fake ollie is exactly the same thing, just you're rolling backwards. So as you see here, I'm rolling backwards just slowly, don't have to go very fast, and then just ollieing like I would normally. Make sure when you're doing this that you're keeping your weight centered over the board. If you notice my leg that's popping, it's kind of slanted back in towards my body. This allows me to take pressure off the tail and get the board in the air. The front side 180, one of my favorite tricks and go-tos. Super easy to learn, you're doing the same thing as if you are going to ollie. Difference is you're turning your head, opening up your chest as you turn your front shoulder. This is gonna help rotate your body around. All right guys, sorry I had to do it one more time, but on a serious note, throwing your arms up and out is gonna help give your body upward momentum and it's gonna help you keep your balance. Front side half cab, it's exciting to say and a lot easier to do than you might think. If you can fake ollie and you can front side 180, then you can front side half cab. If you need to 90 it a few times, by all means do it. You'll progress as you continue to try. Just make sure you're keeping your weight over the center of the board. That way you're able to pop it up and bring it with you. You're turning and opening your shoulders to the direction you're heading, which is front side. All right, guys, welcome back. Had to change locations real quick. I know it makes no difference to y'all, but I got kicked off the basketball court because someone wanted to actually play basketball on it. Craziness, right? All right, let's continue. It's time to get into the backside half cab. This is the first trick we are turning backside, which simply all that means is you're moving forward you're closing off your front shoulder and you're rotating your back into the direction that you're moving. So same thing as the ollie, you're gonna pop, you're gonna start to turn your shoulder and your head looking in the direction that you want your body to go as this will really help you rotate around. Again, don't be afraid to try to 90 this at first if it's a little intimidating because you're turning blindly to your backside and then just continue to try and try as you progress. I know it may seem a little difficult at first, but trust me, you'll get it in no time. The last and final trick we have is the nollie. I'll be the first to admit, this is definitely not my strong suit. I'm still trying to get it down. But uh, it's a good one to know right off the bat to start learning and start challenging yourself with. It's essentially the same thing as the ollie, the fakie ollie. You're just doing it with your front leg. So you're pushing down with your front leg, sliding your back leg up towards the tail, pushing back down to level out, landing and riding out. Again, I think this is not as easy as the fakie ollie. It's not as natural for me, um, but it's one to start learning early on. All right, so that's gonna do it for the first five tricks that every skater needs to learn after the ollie. Do me a favor, comment below. Let me know what you found to be the most helpful or if there's anything you wanna see more in depth. 
Also, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, as this really helps the channel grow and will allow us to continue to learn from one another. As for the next video, I've got a few ideas of what I want to do. Not sure which one I'm going to put out first. More than likely, it'll be a continuation of this series, though, to help you progress quickly. So, guys, appreciate you stopping by. Now get out there, get after it. Get after it.